name is Gloria Chavita and welcome to Storytime brought to you by Wilkinson Public Library. Today I am going to read you how to fold a taco and this book is in English and Spanish um, and the Spanish title is Como Doblar Un Taco and it's written by Naivi Reynoso and Ana Valencia. But before I read the book, I want to sing our hello song. And in this hello song, we are going to use a sign language. Okay, so I'll go over the song first with you and teach you the, sing the signs, and then we'll sing it again one more time together, okay? All right, so here's how it goes. Hello, we're going to take our hand, put it up to our forehead, and hello, hi. Friends, we're going to take our index fingers, one and two, and we're gonna give them hugs. Friends, because that's what friends do, right? We give each other hugs. Um, it's time, we're gonna take our index finger and point to our wrist. It's time to say hello. All right, here we go. Hello, friends. Hello, friends. Hello, friends. It's time to say hello. Good job, good job. All right. I'm so glad that you're here with me today. I'm really excited to read this book about tacos, how to fold a taco, because tacos are my favorite. Oh, I can eat them for breakfast, lunch, or dinner. Yep, an egg taco with a little bit of salsa delicious um, and it's made with one of my favorite ingredients the tortilla la tortilla oh I love a tortilla I can eat tortillas the same for breakfast lunch or dinner dinner and a fresh tortilla made right off of the grill also known as the comal in Spanish is a little slice of heaven for me love it Love it, love it, love it. And so I'm really excited to read this book. Um, so there are a thousand of ways to fold a taco. Everyone loves them from Austria to Morocco. See, here in the US, we love tacos. Y también in France, and in the Middle East, and in Asia on the other side, and here in South America, mm, they love tacos too. Just use your imagination and you'll see it's ready for everyone, for you and for me. There are just a few rules when enjoying this dish. One, the first rule is you have to have fun. Two, gotta be silly too. And three, make the inside squish. And one thing's for sure, a fork you won't need. Just keep reading this book and follow my lead. You can pinch the top closed with your index finger and thumb bringing the edges together as one. All right, let's try. Let me see your index finger and your thumb and pinch, pinch, pinch. All you need are your fingers for this exquisite meal. Utensils aren't allowed. And that's the real deal. It's hard to eat tacos without making a mess, but that's the best part, I have to confess. You can fold it like this from left to right or in reverse, so it's cozy and tight.
You can bring up both sides at the same time or fold up your taco while reciting a rhyme. You can fold a taco while singing and dancing, or here's an idea, try it while spinning. Or blow on the sides until it slams shut. Should we try it? Yeah, let's try it. Ready? One, two, three, blow. Or, or then chomp and chew till it reaches your gut. Where's your gut? That's a new word. Where is our gut? Yes, it's in our stomach. That's another word, right? For gut. Wrestlers can fold a taco while in mid-fight if they twist and they pull with all of their might. And wrestlers in Spanish are called luchadores. And there's, let's count, how many are there? How many do you see? Yeah, one, two. And what color is number one? Yeah, red and yellow. Yes, and green boots. You see those green boots? And the other one is blue and yellow. Yeah, good job. Or hire a magician who uses power of mind. But beware, that taco may disappear. You will find fold, fold, and presto. Hey, how about this cool idea? What if helicopter, helicopters lift the tortilla? How many helicopters do you see? Yeah, we got one and two. Show me two with your fingers. Can you show me two with your fingers? Or call on a T-Rex for extra support. Oops, forgot that their arms are too short. You can have dragons pull it up from the ends, then top it with salsa and enjoy it with friends. Now, taco lovers, it is no illusion. Together we've reached this delicious conclusion. Whether in your pajamas or camping under the stars above, the best part is sharing tacos with those you most love. Ain't that the truth? I love sharing tacos and eating them. And that's the end. Here's a photo of the mother, the, do the mom of the author. And then look, there's a little taco recipe back there for you. And a brief history of the taco as well. And there you go, how to fold a taco. There's a thousand ways. All right, friends. I am going to teach you a song that I used to sing as a kid. Um, and it's called Tortillitas. And this song is from Mexico. Um, and so, you, it's a clapping song. So we're going to use our hands. Let me see your hands. Good job. And clap them shut. And then tilt them to the side. And then you're going to back and forth because this is how you handle a tortilla sometimes. 
before you put it right on the um, fire or the we call it in Mexico the um, it slipped my mind oh my god it's gonna come to me you, you, the skillet before you put it on the skillet so there you go okay ready one two and three Tortillita de manteca, pa' mamá que está contenta. Tortillita de maíz, para papá que está feliz. Good job. Let's try it one more time. All right. Tortillita de manteca, pa' mamá que está contenta. Tortillita de maíz, para papá que está feliz. Good job. Good job. So, Tortita de manteca is a tortilla made of lard, which those are the best tortillas ever. Um, they're so delicious. And then tortita de maíz is uh, a corn tortilla. And the word I was trying to remember is called a comal in Spanish. So you cook the tortilla on a comal. It's a flat griddle. Um, okay, so let's see here. Should we do one more song? Yes, let's do one more song. Okay, this one is called Five Hungry Ants. Can you show me five with your hand? Yes, five. Because we have five fingers, right? So one, two, three, four, and five. Five. Right? And I have here five hungry ants. So there's one, one, two, three, hopefully he stays up, four, and five. Five. One, two, three, four, and five. All right. So, five hungry ants marching in a line. They came upon a picnic where they could dine. They marched into the salad. Marched. Let's march together. March, 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 march. They marched into the cake. They marched into the pepper. Uh-oh. Ah, ah, choo. That was a mistake. How many ants do we have now? Let's count them together, okay? One, two, three, four. Four. Can you show me four with your hand? Yes. Good job, friends. Four. Ready? Four hungry ants marching in a line came upon a picnic where they could dine. They marched into the salad. They marched into the cake. They marched into the pepper. Uh-oh. That was a mistake. Achoo! Oh, how many do we have left? Let's count together, okay? One, two, three. Three ants left. All right, here we go. Three hungry ants marching in a line. They came upon a picnic where they could dine. They marched into the salad, they marched into the cake, they marched into the pepper. Uh-oh, was that a mistake? Yes, that was a mistake. Achoo! Oh, how many ants do we have left? Yes, we have one, two, all right. We're learning this song. Ready? Two. Huh? 
hungry ants marching in a line, they came upon a picnic where they could dine. They marched into the salad. They marched into the cake. They marched into the pepper. Uh-oh, that was a mistake. Oh, how many do we have left? How many ants? Yes, one ant. All right, friends. One hungry ant marching in a line came upon a picnic where he could die. He marched into the salad. He marched into the cake. He marched into the pepper. Uh-oh. That was a mistake. Uh, How many do we have left? How many ants? No, zero. Zero. <laughs> All right, friends. I love this song. And these ants are so cute. I'll put them right back up for us, okay? Because I just want to say goodbye to the ants one last time. All right, okay, let's say goodbye to those cute little ants. See you later, ants. All right, friends, thank you for joining me for story time. Um, as a reminder, uh, we will be offering story times, if you haven't already heard, uh, starting July, sorry, June 7th at the library. And all our story times will begin at 11 a.m. On Mondays, we'll have baby story time. On Tuesdays, we'll have toddler preschool story time. On Wednesday, we'll have Spanish story time. And on Thursday, we'll have all ages story time. So we hope you can make it. All our story times will be out on the patio. Uh, we will maintain physical distance and we hope to see you there. And also, our summer reading program begins June as well. And so um, you can sign up for summer reading going to telluridelibrary.org um, and sign up your kiddo. We have a great program for kids of all ages, ranging from zero to teens. And we also have a program for adults if you're interested in also joining um, summer reading program and lastly um, our story walk I would love to invite you to check out our story walk along the San Miguel River in Telluride you can access it at Pine and the River Trail um, and right now we have Dinosaur Bones which was written by Miss Jeannie a librarian her son wrote the book um, and so that will be up until the end of May. And then in June, we will put in a new story walk on June 1st, um, Senorita Mariposa. And for that one, we will be having an event on Tuesday, June 1st at 11 a.m. at the story walk. So we hope you can make it. Um, and yeah, and I hope to see you in the library soon. Bye, friends. Play and learn.